In this next section, we'll become familiar with the control panel, how to use it, and how to navigate through the menus to get to the key functions. Let's review each component of the control panel. First is the LCD screen. This basically tells you what the plotter is thinking at any given time, or it will display an action that is needed, such as the need to press a certain button. There are two modes that the LCD will display. When the cutter is ready to accept a job, it will display ready. When it's online and operating, it will display processing on the screen. The four buttons next to the LCD are the function keys. These allow you to choose certain functions or menu options that are going to be displayed on the LCD. The barcode key will immediately start the barcode scanning process. The pause menu key will pause the cutter's cutting operation and switch the cutter to the menu mode. When the cutter is in the menu mode, the indicator light to the side of the button will illuminate. The arrow keys just below have two functions. The first function is to move the tool head to a new location. The second function is to change values on items displayed in the LCD screen, such as increasing or decreasing a value. When moving the cutting tool or pen to a new location, the tool head will start out at normal speed. Pressing the slow key while pressing the arrow keys will reduce the speed. The condition test key will allow for altering and testing the eight cutting condition presets. The origin key will set a new start point or origin at the tool head's current location. The copy button will make copies of what is currently in the buffer. In other words, it will copy the last job that was sent to the cutter. The escape crosscut key when the cutter is in ready mode, activates the cross cutter. The cross cutter, when activated, will slice the media, delivering a clean straight edge to the media. It can also be used to exit or reject certain menu changes. Finally, the enter key is usually pressed after a setting has been altered. Pressing it tells the cutter that you accept the changes. It can also be used for other functions, such as switching conditions. Let's go over the menu structure and how to navigate through the menus. To access the menus, we need to press the pause menu button. If the FC9000 is online and operating, this pauses the operation of the plotter, and it will display on the LCD screen a choice of continuing the cut or to quit. When the cutter is in ready mode or stationary, pressing the pause menu key will display eight groups of menu functions. Tools, Arms, Area, Media, Interface, which is represented by the I slash F, Advanced, Test, and Link, which contain barcode and data link options. On the upper left corner of each of these choices is a little number or arrow indicating the button that should be pressed to enter that menu option. For instance, to display the tool menu options, we would press the 1 key. To display the arms menu option, we would press 2. To display the area menu options, we would press 3, and so on. Let's press the 1 key to display the menu for the tool options. The LCD will display a menu with different options for dealing with the tool operation. There are four menu options to choose from. Each choice shown in the LCD menu is highlighted in black. This indicates that if those keys are pressed, it will access that function. Notice just above and below those four menu options are arrows. This indicates that there are more than four options for the tools menu. In fact, notice in the upper right hand corner, there is a 1 slash 4. This indicates that there are four pages of options and it is displaying the first page of the four pages. If the up or down arrow keys are pressed, the menu cycles through the different pages of options. To select one of the options, press the number next to the option. For instance, if we wanted to change the tool move speed, we would press the two key. This gets us into the tool move speed setting. Here we can either increase the value by pressing the up arrow key, or decrease the value by pressing the down arrow key. 
Once the settings have been changed, we can accept the changes by pressing the Enter key. In this case though, we really don't want to change the tool move speed. So to cancel this value or the setting, we can just press the Escape Crosscut key as indicated here. And this will bring us back to the previous tool settings menu. Keep in mind that this type of operation is true with many of the menu settings. To get back to the main menu, press the Escape Crosscut key again. To return to the default screen, press the Pause menu key. There are some functions that require two buttons to be held down at the same time to access functions. As an example, when the cutter is in ready mode, pressing the Enter key displays all the cutter's conditions, along with either a number or arrow next to them. To change the condition, a secondary button, indicated next to each condition, can be pressed to select a different condition. Keep in mind that when navigating the menu, always look at the LCD. It will always indicate which buttons to choose to get to where you want to go.